Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice radio. So today, we're going to be having a little bit of a look at a Raichu and a Lolan Raichu Tag Team GX winning deck. It's a little bit of a theme that these Tag Team GXs tend to win tournaments. There were two Tag Team GXs in the most recent Japanese set, GG The End. One of them was Garchomp and Giratina. I've already shown you a winning deck with that one. Link in the description. So the only one left is Choo Choo GX. And ladies and gentlemen, that's gone and won a tournament too. So let's go and have a gander, shall we? Now, I suppose we should probably start off having a look at Raichu and Alolan Raichu. And having a look at what it is that they actually do. There's only one attack and a GX attack. The GX attack, 150 for free energy... Or if you've got 5 energy, 250, and either way you switch to the bench. It's fine, but it's not exactly setting the world alight. I mean, Picaron's GX attack is, is just better. But what we do like here is free energy, 160 damage, plus automatic paralysis, if you became active this turn. So as long as we can switch in and out of the active every turn, we're doing 160 damage. We'll often be getting a 1-hit KO. If we don't get a 1-hit KO... It's not really the end of the world because we're going to have automatic paralysis. And there's going to be plenty of times your opponent can use an ace roller to get out the active or something along those lines. But there's going to be plenty of times they can't. And on the days, on the turns where they can't, they're stuck in the active, they're unable to attack, and you can start taking advantage of that. And that really is what this deck is all built around. There's other things in it, don't get me wrong. But largely, this is a deck that is built to get Choo Choo in and out the active, hitting 160 with automatic paralysis. This deck doesn't play Zapdos, but Zapdos has shown us that this can absolutely work. But we're still playing a couple of Picaron, because Picaron is still a phenomenal card. Free energy, 150, and attach free energy from your deck to one of your Pokemon. And then free energy GX attack, 200. No, do not use it. But if you've got 6 energy on 200 to the active, 170 to one of your opponent's bench, it's way better than Choo Choo's GX attack. So I do think this is the one you want to be relying on here. So this is a good reason to play it. It's really good for accelerating energy. Because you don't have much energy acceleration. You kind of have a one-shot energy acceleration. We'll get to that in a moment. So you really need to be using stuff like this to be getting the energy on. Attack with Picarom, and then you get to put free energy onto a Choo Choo while you do so. Or onto another Picarom to get ready for that big GX attack. Either way, it's pretty sweet. They basically are your attackers, but we do have a bunch of support Pokemon that come in and help as well. We've got Tapu Lele that lets you search out a supporter card. And then we've got a couple of Dedene. When you play it from your hand onto your bench, discard your hand, draw six cards. This is good. This gives you a lot of extra speed. Now, you might be thinking, hang on a second, why, why are we playing two of these? And the reason is we're playing Electromagnetic Radar. Discard two cards from your hand, search for two Lightning Pokemon EX or GX... And put them into your hand. Generally speaking, Ultra Ball is a little bit better. But the thing is, Ultra Ball, you can only search for one Pokemon, though it can be any. Whereas Electromagnetic Radar can get you two. So it gets you your Choo Choo and your Dedene, for argument's sake. This is pretty gosh darn useful. And then we've got one copy of Zero Aura GX. Which is largely here for the ability. The ability of Zero Aura says that each of your Pokemon with Lightning Energy attached has no retreat cost. Now this is incredibly relevant because you need to be getting your Choo Choo out the active every turn. Because if you leave it in the active, you just do 80 damage. No extra 80, no paralysis, none of that. You just do 80 damage. That's not what we want, ladies and gentlemen. So you've got to get it out the active. So the ideal situation here is something like attacking with one, retreating to another one on the bench. Attacking with that one, retreating to the first one again. And so on and so forth until you just go ahead and win the game. That works. 
It's really quite nice. There is an attack that does 160, but it can't attack next turn. But it's not as good as Choo Choo's free energy attack or Picarom's free energy attack. You do only give up two prizes with this, so it can be used, but generally we wouldn't really want to. And there is a GX attack that attaches five basic energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. And on the one hand, that is really good. And on the other hand, it's probably not as good as Choo Choo's GX attack that will probably get your one hit KO while switching to the bench to protect itself. Which in turn isn't really good as Picarom's GX attack, which could well end up giving you four prizes if played correctly. And we just end up going, yeah, we're, we're just not using that. It is not the one we're going for. There's one copy of Marshadow for the turn one let loose. It's, it's Marshadow, ladies and gentlemen. There's one in most decks. Two copies of Jirachi here. Because the thing is, you want to be switching in and out of the active on a fairly regular basis. So because you want to be switching in and out of the active on a fairly regular basis, get Jirachi into the active, use its ability to look at the top five cards of your deck, find a trainer, put it into your hand. And then obviously we're playing Escape Board here to give yourself free retreat. Yeah, Jirachi's ability puts it to sleep. But the good news is the escape board lets you retreat even when you're asleep. So we good, ladies and gentlemen. We good. And then there's one copy of Tapu Koko. I said we had kind of a one-shot energy acceleration. It's your combination of Tapu Koko and Thunder Mountain. When Tapu Koko's on the bench, you can pop it in the Lost Zone. And then you get to put one lightning energy from the discard onto each of two benched Pokemon. And Thunder Mountain reduces the attack cost of Pokemon by one lightning energy. So this means that essentially Choo Choo GX can use the attack for a single energy. Picarom can use its first attack for a single energy. Bearing in mind that when Picarom attacks, it then puts free energy onto the board. Which basically sets you up for the rest of the game. In the early game, this is very much what you want to be having a play with. So, they're the Pokemon. What do we have in terms of your trainer cards? We have a lot of switching. I've already mentioned a skateboard. We also have a full four copies of Guzma. It's a switch, but it also drags a Pokemon active. And we've got two copies of a Escape Rope. You want to be switching your Raichu and Alolan Raichu at the active basically every turn. You need a bunch of switching. I've mentioned Electromagnetic Radar. We're still playing four copies of Ultra Ball. It's still better than Electromagnetic Radar because it gets everything. Electromagnetic Radar won't get your Tapu Koko, won't get your Marshadow, won't get your Jirachi, etc. It's nice to have, but we can't play too much. We are playing four copies of Electro Power. Electro Power is one of the things at the moment that's making these Lightning decks so gosh darn good. It means you do an extra 30 damage. It's great. We see one copy of Field Blower, just to get rid of tools. We see one copy, and stadiums, one copy of Choice Band to do an extra 30 damage. If we go and have a look at the supporters, we got three copies of Lily. Helps you set up, it's a good draw card. One copy of Ace Roller. You're playing a bunch of Tag Team GXs. This picks up a damaged Pokemon. Tag Team GXs give up free prizes when KO'd. You want to stop them being KO'd so they don't give up free prizes. Oh look, Ace Roller's pretty gosh darn good. And then three copies of Volkner. Volkner lets you search for a basic lightning energy and an item card. And I've just gone through all these item cards we're playing. This helps you search them. That's pretty good. And then we're playing two copies of Acro Bike here. Just gives you extra speed. Look at the top two cards of your deck. Put one in your hand, one in the discard. The discard is not too bad. Get rid of some energy for your Tapu Koko. But generally, this just gives you the speed you need to set up. This is supposed to be a quick deck where you're hitting hard and fast, stopping your opponent ever really getting rolling. And Acro Bike helps with that. We've got one copy of Thunder Mountain. We've mentioned that. And then we've got two copies of Energy Switch. And two copies of Tag Switch. Now, Tag Switch lets you switch two energy from a Tag Team GX to another Pokemon. So it's like a double energy switch, but the energy must be moved from a Tag Team GX, though you can move it to whatever you like. 
And this is really good. I told you we've only got energy acceleration essentially as a one-time deal. So what you do is you accept that. But when a Pokemon's about to go down, tag switch. But it's more than that. So one thing you don't really want to be doing is using a Picarom to accelerate three more energy onto the same Picarom. Because then, sure, next turn you can use a GX attack, but your opponent has a turn in between where you've got six energy on and a super vulnerable. So what you do is you use it to accelerate free energy onto a bench tag team GX. Next turn you drop a tag switch and an energy switch, bearing in mind you can search for stuff like Volkner. And now all of a sudden, you're moving the free energy up. You only really need one tag switch because you can then attach for your turn. And now you're using a GX attack properly with the extra effect but you didn't have to leave more than three energy on at the end of your turn that's really good the other thing which is really really good that we can do here is you use tapu coco to accelerate two energy to the bench you then energy switch so both the tapu coco energy are on the same pokemon and that makes it far easier because now, to get that turn one, you've got to have Tapu Koko. But then instead of needing an energy and a Thunder Mountain, you need two of Energy Thunder Mountain Energy Switch, which makes it far easier to get that free energy turn one attack. And then a single copy of Reset Stamp. Now, the reason you only need to play one copy here is because you're playing Volkner. So it's quite easy to search it out. It's a one-sided end. Your opponent shuffles a hand into their deck, draws cards equal to the number of prizes they've got remaining. It is a huge comeback card. It's great. And I expect to see it as a one-off in a whole bunch of decks moving forward. So that's a deck, ladies and gentlemen. Turns out Choo Choo's pretty gosh darn good, as we all suspected. And this means that Tag Team GXs are continuing to be great. Two in the new set. On the first weekend, they both go and win tournaments. I think this is probably going to keep coming. Turns out Tag Team GX is a good. But I would very much like to know what you think about this deck, ladies and gentlemen. So please do let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. But please do remember the rule. Be nice, would you? And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that and please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash wassy plays where we talk about games that don't have pokemon in but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching ptcg radio